Hi, this is Jeremy Moskowitz, and in this video we're going to learn how to install your license files. So, this is what your license file should look like. Maybe the file names are a little different, but this is what you should have. You should have a universal license that has an XML, and you might have also asked for, or we've given you, an MSI file. And if we didn't give you an MSI file, don't worry, I'm going to show you how you can create one. You don't even need to contact us. I'll show you how to do it. It's very, very easy. So basically, we're going to do the group policy method first, or actually the Active Directory method first, uh, which can do group policy, or it can do SCCM, or if you have some other on-prem utility like case or PDQ deploy or something like that, you can use that. Um, and then uh, I'm going to move on to how to deploy the MSI using SCCM or your uh, MDM tool. So let's get started. So the idea is that you asked us for this license and it has a scope. So if we were to look at the, just look at it in Notepad real fast, you don't have to be a technical whiz or anything. It's, you should just spot check this and make sure that it has what you asked for. So the first thing you should see is something like Active Directory values and another thing called UPN values. So the idea is that this is going to light up for, uh, you know, for both Active Directory and for, say, uh, you know, an MDM service. The second thing that you're going to look for is capabilities. You have to specifically ask for the capabilities you want. So if you want to do the group policy method, that's great. If you want to do the SCCM, or we also call it the XML method, you could do that too. And lastly, if you want to do MDM, you have to ask for it. So the idea is that all three of these capabilities are, you're entitled to uh, with the enterprise or professional license, but you do have to ask for them. Then after that, you're going to see the components. The components are what you're licensed for. Now, if you are an enterprise customer you get everything that's the all you can eat plan you just get new stuff when we when we create it and the pro plan means that you have to specifically request the items that you want and pay for those anyway these are the licenses they'll be here and that's how to interpret this so this is the XML file what we'll do to get that XML file installed is you're going to my recommendation is if you're going to use group policy to get it deployed is to use the um, to create and link a GPO against the entire domain. I'll call this uh, policy pack licenses for this year. Okay, so the idea is that you can just keep keep using it as long as you want. The second thing is that we're going to use this license, uh, this GPO everywhere in the domain, even if you're not lighting up places in the entire domain. That's okay, it doesn't matter. You can go ahead and create, link it, and then enforce it. And enforced means that if you have a block inheritance later down the line here, that it's going to still work. So creating and linking against the entire domain, that's recommended. If you can't do that and you need to do it against, say, your entire sales OU, that's fine. And you can uh, also um, uh, enforce that if that's what you need to do. So I'm just going to go uh, right click for the licenses for this year. And I've already installed the policy pack MMC snap, and you can see here. So you're going to left click here and get into the computer side policy pack node. You're going to left click again, right click and go to license management. It's a little tricky. So let me talk you through that one more time. You're going to left click on the word policy pack, right click and get to license management. And here is where you're going to import in your license file. So I've got it in the desktop here and I've got your licenses and here it is my uh, XML file, bang. Again, your file name might be a little bit different. And here's where you get to see the same stuff all over again. You get to see the methods, GPO, XML, and MDM, okay? You get to see the scope that you're licensed for. I'm licensed for my entire domain. You get to see the components you're licensed for. And if you have a particular capability, for instance, Least Privilege Manager has standard and complete, you should see that you are, that you've got your method, uh, you've got your uh, capabilities here. And then lastly, your scopes, your on-prem scope and your MDM or Azure AD scope. Okay, once you're done with that, you go ahead and click close, and that's it, you are done. So how do we know we're done? Well, I'll show you how you know you're done. What we'll do, we'll go over to our endpoint here. Now, I've already pre-installed the Policy Pack client-side extension. Again, you download this from the Policy Pack portal in the bits, and once you've got that installed, this is what you're lighting up. So let's. So now that I'm logged on to my endpoint machine, how do I know if I'm actually licensed? Well, there's this command, PP update. It does a couple things. First thing it does, it'll it'll recycle the existing policies that we that we've already downloaded. And two, it'll tell you how you're licensed. So here we go. It'll tell you, hey, you've got a universal license, and this is the GPO where it was, PP licenses for this year. It tells you the methods, which is group policy, MDM, and XML, and then tells you uh, when you're licensed for, start and expiry date. It tells you the scope 
which is the, going to be your on-prem scope like Fabricam.com and if the machine is capable of being MDM enrolled and what the requirements are. This will either be uh, the domain, either be a company name or it'll be a UPN name like this. The second part is what components are you licensed for? You can see if you're an enterprise customer, you get all the things. Now remember, from time to time, we come up with new things. And as an enterprise customer, you get to have those new things. If you're a professional customer, you have to buy into those new things. Oh, look at that. This enterprise customer uh, doesn't is, is not licensed for Policyback Software Package Manager. No problem. Just email support at policyback.com and we'll turn around a new license for you as an enterprise customer. If you're a professional customer and you love this thing, that's not a problem either. You can certainly just buy into it. Okay? So this is one method, the, the group policy method. Now the next method is through SCCM or CASE or Landesk or whatever you use to deploy MSI files. Because remember, you've got the license as an MSI. What? You don't have the license as an MSI? That's okay. Again, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to take that XML and make it into an MSI, and that's fine. So if you have the MSI, uh, all you do is you use SCCM just like this, or... If you're using an MDM service like Intune, like this. Now remember, we're only talking about the license file, and you can see I've added it here to my Intune. Now, for completeness, I also wanted to show you that you would also deploy the client side extension and also policy pack policy files the same way. It's all the same thing, you just gotta get them over to your endpoint. So here we are, I'm back on the endpoint, and I've rolled it back, and I'm showing that we are not licensed. So this, there's no PolySpec license on this machine. And here's the MSI file. So I'm going to simulate deploying this using either SCCM or CASE or an MDM service of any kind. Okay, I'm just going to simulate that. Now, this would normally just happen in the background. You wouldn't see anything like this. And that's it. You're done. So as long as you get the file deployed to your Windows 10 machine, you are fully licensed. After that, you're ready to go. So let's just check it out. I'm going to run PP update here. And what do we get? Well, now it says that the, the we have our licensed from a file location. We call this the XML method. Okay, so it's licensed uh, in this location. That's where the license ends up. You can see the methods are exactly the same. The start date's exactly the same. The scope is exactly the same. Okay, because it's the same exact license file. And here are the components that you're licensed for. And oops, here's what you're not licensed for. Okay, it's as simple as that to get licensed. Now, the last thing I said I was going to do is show you how you can create your own uh, MSI if you don't have one, but all you have is the Policy Pack XML. Not a problem. So when you install Policy Pack, we also uh, the the uh, admin console piece. You'll see that not only do you get the MMC snap-ins, you get a couple little extra utilities. One of them is called the Policy Pack Exporter Tool, and all you're going to do is create an MSI here, add a file. Pick your license file. Oh, there it is. That's handy for me. Pick your license file. It's going to tell you that it's a universal license type. You don't really have to make any choices or anything at all to do. You can give it a nice name like uh, my uh, policy pack XML license, whatever. And then you're off to the races. You just save it and you can call it ABC123 XML. That's fine. Or SM MSI. And you're done. That's how you can create an MSI if for some reason we didn't give you one. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, with that in mind, that gives you everything you need to know on how to deploy the license file for the group policy slash Active Directory method, which works great if you plan on using group policy or SCCM or CASE or Landesk to get your stuff deployed. Or if you're going to use an MDM service, you saw how to do that too. So long story short, hope this helps you out. Looking forward to getting you started with Policy Pack real soon. Thanks so much.